hearts and the sides for me. Ew. How <laughs> do my belly hurts? <laughs> Look at this. Um, what do you think? It's giving popper. You know what? <laughs> We're beauty in the popper. Where's our waist? Like, <laughs> it took everything. So yeah, you look hot. Bad. It's the bottom. <laughs> it's made out of parchment Why paper. Why is it dirty? Yeah, it is. You guys, you get, it's like see-through. I don't know. This is what you get for ten dollars. I mean, we spend twenty more and we yeah, get so much better cool. ones. This is the second con, like second outfit, you guys. I'm like we look like crying. you know the ugly two stepsisters from Cinderella. The evil stepsisters. The, no, yeah, evil and ugly. And they took away our shape. It took out our shape, and I can't believe people used to wear this. Like, what is this, you guys? <laughs> I look like a middle school teacher. They, they, it looks pretty up front and then you wear it and I'm like, what? There's a reason why this is $10. Like, let's be honest here. Yours is pretty, I'm being honest. It's not Bridgerton. It's not Bridgerton. <laughs> See, this is what made the outfit ugly. This is not cute. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with my little star. Side character. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the main character. You're, oh, we it's are? main character energy. Yeah, we're the I think queen. it's the For big once. sister and the... The, the boy is the main character. I feel like, yeah, maybe the big okay. sister is. We were the ones who were in Bridgerton season two and a lot of you wanted like a get ready with me with us. So yeah. we decided to do it. So this is what I wore for my, you know, season. And this is what she had on for her season. So we're gonna try to recreate these looks. It's just basic makeup, like little to nothing. Okay, okay. what are you gonna do for your I foundation? I do my makeup in such a weird order. Me too. Like sometimes I do my eyes first, sometimes I like, I don't even know. We have a moisturizer on you right now. But this is the Smashbox primer. I'm gonna the original all photo over. finish. Yeah. I need that. Okay, do you wanna hear about my garage? Yeah, why the hell did your garage break? The way I came here late because my apartment complex has like this card that you show mm. and it opens your garage, yeah. like you've seen it. Not you like literally airing every single thing to the thieves of LA, they're You're watching like, this. What? Yeah. yeah. Um, The monitor for my garage like wasn't working and I had to like call them because I was stuck and it's like uphill. So yeah. I was like, I'm oh stuck. yeah, you guys are parking garage is like, it's, it's like vertical. this. You got literally vertical to the sky. She has to like go like this up and I'm like, I'm done. Whoa. This stuff is so like greasy, but like. Give a spray. Oh my God, I didn't bring setting spray. I have one. I'll, I just had, oh, oh, you're I have to go all brush. the way to wet. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> you want me to wet it for you? No, they're literally wet from this morning and decaying with mold. So cute. <laughs> so cute and good for my skin. No wonder I have acne. Guys, we were invited to the season two, like the Bridgerton premiere in LA. And like, we both headed off to that. And tell me why I was like, oh my God, this is how cute they were in the 1920s. 20s. No, you're, no. <laughs> I need a history lesson. Guys, I thought this is how people dress in the 1920s. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I was born in the 1920s is like Great Gatsby. And no like Art Deco. Is. You haven't seen Great Gatsby no. with Leonardo DiCaprio and no. like Daisy Buchanan? I did it's watch Titanic with Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course you did. Did you read the book? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys, I'm I know so... you're dumb. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm so tired of like Americans making fun of me. I'm sorry. Like, how the fuck would I learn like American stuff? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. Like, is why that, would you learn? Is that an American thing? I mean... The author, F. Scott Fitzgerald, was like very famous, mm. a very famous American author. Actually, his wife, Loki, wrote them. Zola. Yeah. Do you know, but, uh, like an American friend's like, do you read the book? And I'm like, The Dying of the Mockingbird? <laughs> I didn't read The Dying of I the Mockingbird, Mockingbird. And it's about like- And he lost that's it. That's about like, you know, segregation. So like, yeah. why would you read that in Dubai? But, I mean, it's interesting to like, think about that sometimes. It's like, no, we now have since, such different like, yeah, for sure. setups. No, for sure. Now, since I'm in America, I do want to learn, like I do plan to like stay here. Yeah. So I do want to like learn more about American yeah. history because it's good for me. It's yeah, good to be educated. And it's like such a crazy history that is so like, dude, they cover up so much stuff. Yeah. You know what we need to do then is go to museums. Oh, to I'm going to die. I'm you literally, like I... Cute? Bitch, that's my favorite thing. Stop. You're lying if you're gonna tell me that you're gonna walk, go to a, like a painting and it's like white paint, like painting and like blue dots on there and they're like, this is so and This tells immaculate. you the story This of is the story behind the blue dot. And I'm like, shut up. Like, you're lying. I go to museums and everyone's just standing there like, no, we need to go to a history museum because oh. they can like read it. They'll be like, okay, I've gone like, to I've is. gone to one back home in Dubai and like Ooh. like there's like these boats that were made in like 1960s and then so like, cool. 1810s. Those are so fascinating, right? Like, stuff I like that. Yeah, stuff like that is That's so cool. That's what we'll do, like, guys. I saw war. I saw this like typewriter and like a spear that was used back in Dubai, like back in the day. I was just standing there looking at it, like I wanted to just stare at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, I think that's cool, but I don't want to see paintings. 
Yeah, art museum I think is like very specific. Wait, have you seen Mona Lisa painting? Like the actual one? Dude, yeah. When I was six. When I was six, my tell me why my family did us full tour of Europe. I was six and my brother is one. I don't remember anything. (laughs) Why would they take a one year old to the Mona Lisa and Eiffel Tower? You guys and after that we never traveled again. (laughs) Were you disappointed? Um, I remember I mean I was like six, I was so confused. I remember I was really creeped out because they say that the eyes follow you. (laughs) And they do. Like I was like right running to like this side this side my mom was like calm the f down oh Whatever. you were like one of those people who were like, like looking <laughs> yeah yeah i know my what hyper mean. ass yeah and hey guys everybody i, so I know who had gone to like see the mona lisa they've it's been very so small. disappointed yeah because it's so small it is not as big as like people no. assume it to be i saw it on tiktok guys it's like the size of my hand yeah it's very literally small. the size of my hand is the mona lisa the actual mona lisa painting which is really crazy it's just surprising because it's so famous and for what girl whoever is leonardo dicaprio or da vinci is watching is going to beat your ass off you you're the leonardo dicaprio leonardo dicaprio the greatest I, leonardo would be like sleeping with half the 18 year olds in la like i'm surprised he hasn't hit her up like his <laughs> his whole thing is sleeping with kids dude i've heard that too you've heard it's like an open fact like everyone knows yeah. about it you know what i mean it's like scary scary it's scary how many like old men like date little girls you know i actually have i've mentioned this before i've been hit on by men when i was younger versus now yeah because they like isn't that insane isn't that insane and like i mean i think we talked about this before like the way the beauty standard is like no hair two ponytails sucking a lollipop like that's pedophilia i never got that spears thing like britney spears they like made her have a very babyish voice and like have a baby aesthetic Mm. it's because the world is literally rooted in pedophilia yeah it's so scary like when you like look deeply into it (laughs) i don't know why being dumb and ditzy is like considered hot like women think that men find that hot it's like it's like a thing where like men can like help you and yeah control and you. the fact that women are smart enough to know that men need to feel like they're helping so yeah. we <laughs> act like we're dumb so we know men are dumb as f- we know like yeah we, we need to make them feel like exactly we they need them they have the power yeah but at the end of the day like it's the girls manipulation. are running the game it's literally run- <laughs> like we are running the game it's so funny very few people know this shit but right wow we're geniuses we are but anyway let's talk about us being a part you guys i'm very proud um i want to thank my mom the bunnies they played some part in my life i don't even know what part but <laughs> they I, were they were writing the letters <laughs> lady they were the little lady whistle downs but i just want to shout out to like uh my family you guys for all the support but i finally got my big debut to like be yeah. on netflix season two i am i'm Ed- so proud of us i'm so proud of us i am edwin i was i played edwina if you guys saw the show i'm gonna literally edit our face into the clip and what are you whatever you are Wait, i forgot my name i forgot your sorry name. i repressed it because you know that's my acting method it's like now Wait, what that is your done, name edwina and not Na- natalie sharma it's, it's like a white name oh kate. my god how kate 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 is it? I was only paying attention to. You just the came there for the check and then you left. She, yeah, guys, she I, came. Yeah. She shot and like she shot the movie. I made out with a man and I ran. Ran and the fact that the main character is gay is so shocking to me. He played like a straight, a proper straight role so well. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the amazing part about Bridgerton. Also, is like even though the girls were Indian, they didn't make a big deal. I mean, even though we're Indian, <laughs> they didn't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like it, the conversations were never about the race. It wasn't surprising that they were like yeah whatever. It was just like they were the same as anybody. No, else. I was telling my mom this. I'm like, mom, have you seen? Show me. What one one movie one show where the main lead characters are dark when i say yeah. dark i mean dark <laughs> like literally like dark like melanin yeah mel like you can see the like the color this this is what i say dark this is dark this is not dark show me more of your by beige indian colors. standards it's like that because yeah. you know like here people will consider us like mid-tone yeah so it's like but by indian no. standards deepika padukone is considered dusky you know whenever i bring this up people always go like but deepika i'm like she's not dark she's like the lightest part of my skin and that's like if they want a dark girl p- playing a role they'll put deepika because that's like the yeah. darkest that they can Guys, go and you know it's so sad like she's been shamed like oh you're the dusty she, and actress she's like, and like she's so fucking she's hot she's so talented yeah. she's the hottest one the hottest she's the one. hottest yeah. one like and, and she it's, actually knows how to act guys like literally my mom okay my mom is considered like she has melanin she's considered a dark woman yeah. And I remember talking to my mom, I'm like, mom, I went to the show with Kavya. Like, I was like, this show is so big in my world. And I'm sure it's in your world. And I explained her the whole thing. And I'm like, yeah. mom, 
I will send you, I literally did better. Like, I'm like, I'll send you $10,000 right now. If you name, I always play games with my mom and yeah. dad like this. I don't know if you know this, if you watch my videos, but like with my mom and dad, I made like crispy mushrooms uh -huh. and I sent it to them. And I'm like, if you eat this and if you guess, I'll give you 500 bucks. Wow. And my mom, my dad, my uncle, everybody would eat the mushrooms and they were literally gathered together, like discussing. They were like, it's carrot. No, 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 it's beetroot. No, no, no. And they're all like waiting. Cause I played this game with my family. Like, That's I, so fun. Right? I used to play this game with my mom, my dad. One time I bought a Louis Vuitton, the egg bag. And I'm yeah. like, if you guess the price for this, the closest one wins, you get one try. The girls, the, my little cousins were playing, Aww. my mom, my dad, my brother. Yeah. And I think my mom won. Like my mom is the best. Like she, yeah, she's, she's like, I need that money, you know? Like, so I'm you guys, missing. yeah. So I literally go like, name one show or a movie with two dark lead characters. Two, I need two girls. I need them to be dark and I want them to be Indian. I want them to be South Indian, whatever. Find me one. She couldn't. Yeah, like, of course, especially I'm, summer girls. Like no way. Dude, we are like the bottom bearer. <laughs> we are well, never selected like, on anything. Even in our own culture, like the fact that British TV casts dark skinned Indian girls I'm before shocked. India did. I'm so shocked. That's, no, it, we need to be embarrassed. Like yeah, our, I know. we need to be embarrassed that we don't give opportunity to yeah. our own. Everybody in India looks like us. There's very few people that are like w walking around like very. There's a lot of light skinned people. Yeah. But obviously, like it's a very diverse place. Yeah. Everybody looks different. So the fact that they have nobody that's even middle tone, like it's so bad for like our mental health. It is, dude. Because we I'm grow, sorry, like, but I, yeah, I used, we were so ugly. Yeah, up. you know when I was when I used to watch like shows when I were when I was a like, little baby, I used to be like, why do I not see anybody like me? Yeah. Especially guys in Tamil Nadu, everyone looks like me and her, my yeah. mom. Like you guys have seen my mom and my dad. We all look the same, but colorism is still like one of the biggest issues we still fight till this day. Yeah. And like people in Bollywood act like it doesn't exist. Yeah, and like the fact that in Tamil movies they import actresses from not even just like North India, from like Europe. And like girls that are half white. Like that's fine. That's fine if you can if you want to have light skinned people, like everybody should be represented, but then there should be equal. Equal. I think like, light skin's fine, but then put in some dark, put in some mix, put in like yeah, caramel and also, color. Like the only people that they put that are dark skin are like the funny guys. Or like the oh the Vadi, Vadi Vail. Vadi Vail? yeah Vadi Vail. I love him he's you guys so funny he's dude so I he's top ten best top, actors in the world top with Hollywood Bollywood Hollywood he's so funny he is so fucking funny I love him I'm gonna put a picture of him he's my favorite like Tamilian so actor good. oh my god this is so sad one one of the comedians in Tam in the he died of COVID. My brother and I name? we cried I forgot his name I think I was gonna cry too I Vivek forgot. Vivek. Oh. My brother and I, we, my brother was like uh, calling me like I gotta tell you something and I'm like okay. Yeah. It's like Tom and Jerry for us, bro. It was just shocking. We we were in the phone and he's like, guess who dies? And I'm like, he's like Vivek, and I'm like, he has a friend Vivek, and I'm like, your friend died? Oh like, God. are you okay? And he's like, no, the act. And I I was speechless. He died yeah. of COVID. He, I don't know if he was fully so vaccinated. Sad. He only had one dose. I, I was remember. mentally fucked, you guys, for a long time. I I I couldn't like he was very young. Like, he was in his like 30s, our dad's I think. age, yeah, younger, 30, 40, or I don't a little know. older. And ugh, that killed me. But anyway, we're just like really happy to be. I saw dark titties and I'm like, oh my god, Kavya, like we are <laughs> we are being represented. She <laughs> she was like, Kavya, there's dark brown on the screen right now, and I was like, I feel seen. I feel seen, girl. Like I have only seen pink titties the whole life. So my makeup is makeup. blended for the first time. You look like you walked out of the set. Like guys, when we went to the the premiere, she was posing, taking pictures. I counted. I counted. 30 people came up to her and told her you are either they were like you are the one in the show or they were like you should have been casted or they were like you're you must be like uh the one in the other show what's that the other was one? like the peak i don't know what happened that night it was yeah. like something was in the air she was literally the star of the show everybody so nice. looked at her her titties Stop. her dress she was the star of the show and i remember being like i told kavi at the end of the night i'm like i don't know who needs to tell you this but like there's so much more to you than you know and you need to stay here and fight more and i like needed that that day too like I it was like such a divine moment because yeah. we've been you know moving to la and all that stuff is so hard and like some days and everybody has a story where like you're ready to give up you yeah. know like we all wake up some days and i'm like i'm done like, yeah I'm ready yeah, to yeah go i know home. i'm ready yeah. to move back to georgia like i'm tired i'm sick i'm gonna go work in a bank whatever <laughs> but like then you go to moments and you have moments like that and you go she, to, she's like you know, i'm gonna be in it and i'm like not the indian stereotype i'm like girl you're gonna <laughs> stay going here into computer science immediately <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you're not you're fine you're so good yeah. I, I had to literally like this girl was doubting herself guys look at her i was just so mind fucked i remember like looking at her and I'm like when she dropped me off and I'm like you are gonna stay and try harder if she was at the red carpet event the highest of the high and the one time she came to my grocery store a guy was following her I'm like girl you're hot <laughs> no, one be, no one be following me I'd be 
be showing up every week to my grocery store. No one comes to me, and people are stopping by looking at you. But so we're like, twins, so like, what does that really say? So I was like, why do you not come to my grocery store? She's like, um, the last time I came there, a guy followed me. I'm like, okay. I'm so scared of that Ralph, dude. <laughs> Like, I swear he was taking pictures, walking Stop. around, and then, like, waited for my car to pull out, and then I started driving the opposite direction. Because oh, I was like, you're not going to find out where I live. No, this is one time I did FaceTime my friend and, like, panic. You guys, this is, like, I'm going to get wrecked in the comments for, like, even sharing this, but the one time a guy tried to hit on me in LA, like, the one time ever. Like, I think guys are very respectful here. I'm being dead ass. Like, they'll be like... Are they not? I don't know about that. Oh I think God. we just don't go to the places where all the thoughts are. Oh, I maybe. feel like men or the men I've met here are like literally so annoying. And really? Yes. No, like the ones bad. the ones here, you guys, like I'll be like, I'm not interested. They'll be like, oh, okay. Like they didn't like harass me. That's oh my God. good. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but like, for the, that's you know, good. Yeah. I want you to keep having that experience. Yeah, like that's very nice. Like I, so there are sometimes I'm like, oh my God, you're cute. Like, can I have your number? He'll be like, I'm dating. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, okay. Like that's fine to like right, right, accept right. rejection and just move on. And I've been, I've been having like good like interactions like that. And this one time, this guy like this guy was just staring me up and down. He looked mm -hmm. at my purse, and I was like, he's gonna steal my purse. Like, yeah. there, there's a thing with girls. Like we can tell when a guy's up to something, he's gonna do something to you. No, okay, do. You you listen to true crime podcasts yeah that like listening to true crime podcasts has taught me whenever you have a gut instinct oh, about run, somebody run. you go with your gut because if you're like oh maybe i'm just like being crazy about it that's when you end up in a ditch on yeah, the side of the yeah, road yeah. and like your parents find out that you were murdered and kidnapped yeah i know i get what you mean there's like, something I'm with like sorry. female gut feeling is so strong immaculate and i remember i felt that with this guy but he was like a little white guy he was like five six kind of my height couldn't like really kidnap me yeah. he, he was very tiny very like skinny and like he, I think I was like bigger than him. I'm not even gonna lie. He genuinely, you know, he looked like somebody who looked 16 and 30 at the same time. Oh my God, the, that just explained everything. He comes to me, I'm at the tortilla section. Like I buy a lot of Mexican food. So I'm like mm. buying the tortillas and whatever, like salsa. And he comes to me and I'm like, oh, he's probably gonna ask me like, where's the tuna section, whatever. Yeah. So I'm like open to whatever. And he's like, um, excuse me, excuse me. And I'm like, um, okay. And I'm like, yeah, scared? yeah, what, what's up? And as I'm talking to him, a lady that cuts us, like passes by us. So yeah. I was just like, and he was like waiting for it to completely like vanish from the aisle. I'm like, what is he going to do or say that he had to like wait for Be someone alone? to pass? Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm like, what are you going to ask me? Okay. So she cuts him and walks away. And then he goes like, um, uh, do you have a boyfriend? I'd be like, um, I have to show you what he looked like. You know what you have to do is start barking. God, I felt, I felt horrible for doing this, but I literally went like, ew, what? Call me on his face. I didn't mean to. I thought you were going to be like, nothing. Yeah, I, I usually go like, I usually go like, uh, no thanks. Even though I'm not interested, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. No, but and that's, that's fine. Not, but, yeah, you're allowed to have your... But I'm sorry, but that was like, re like reflex. I literally went like, ew, no. And he pro you probably need to put him in his place so he didn't kidnap someone that day. And you guys, like, he just like disappeared. Like, he left the whole store. He got so You know scared. why? Because like, yeah, he got, I'm, I feel horrible. And I kept like looking for him. I went every single aisle. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I have to apologize. He's going to kill no. me. This is my Ralph store. You can't show up here. Like, be as crazy as you can. I literally. Just start yelling. I always just start yeah. yelling. Like, ah! What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, because then they're like, oh, never mind. Not, yeah, not her. No, they'll be like, this bitch is crazy. Like, I always wanna, I, I wanna like interview kidnappers. Like, why would you wanna kidnap a kid? Are you yeah. like okay? Are you dumb? Like, they're not. Kids are the like a nightmare to like I don't know take care of like you're gonna feed them you're gonna like bathe them babe they're gonna be like screaming in your ears. Okay, listen guys, let me just say a lot of movies are like you know plots like this. I just wanna say, who wants to go watch Fresh? on hulu i still have to watch it i'm so intrigued. i've been telling everybody in my family about uh fresh and everyone is so scared because the way i like put it up i'm gonna like talk about it on my podcast but yeah i also have a little podcast you guys go check answer to podcast she has got goddess god pod the goddess pod so go check that out and also like follow kavya's like youtube i'll link it below what do you have on makeup I have like three or four makeup tutorials and then I do a lot of like vlog style like yeah. day in my like day in my life. We just blew up after our season came out. We're very proud to be a part of the yeah. show. I'm like famous now. It's my famous era. Yeah, we're going to the Grammys this weekend. I'm if so they excited. close the streets again, I swear. I'm so excited to go. 
So how was it making out with the Duchess of the Sussex? I don't know if <laughs> I actually didn't really watch our season. I don't want like to watch my work. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I'm like, shut up. I like, would totally watch. But honestly, I feel like it would make me so insecure. I'd okay. be like, oh my God, I'm so ugly from the right. No, I do agree with that because I can't watch my YouTube videos with other people. I can't yeah. watch, if my mom plays my videos, I have to leave the house. My friends play my videos, I have to leave. Like I, I think I get it because that to YouTube, I'm just sitting and talking and I'm still embarrassed. So I think I get them when they say that I can't. Not the literal plane. Not the the 2000 US Air rent Force. for what? 2000 not rent the for US what? US Air Force right here. <laughs> but honestly, guys, I'll hear like gunshots. I'll hear like some uh, carousel music, and I'm like, they're filming Wait, something. Wait, have you actually. Oh, filming. I was like, have you actually been hearing gunshots? I don't think I've heard gunshots. I've heard one gunshot. We're like cramped up, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. But you guys, we went clothes, like dress shopping. It was the funniest thing ever. Top 10 <gasps> funniest moments of my entire life. We decided to go to these big old like dresses, like dress stores. What is it? Like wholesale. I'm downtown. talking prom dresses, like big luxurious, something like Selena Gomez would wear to like, yeah. you know, for a red carpet event. We showed up there and we were so embarrassed and like embarrassing because we were like, hi, do you have like a Bridgerton dress? Like this is a, a very like a... Is it medieval? Is that the word? Like a yes, 1910, yes. 18, 900, like whatever, 400 BC kind of outfit. Obviously we're in LA, the, the, like the richest, prettiest city full of beautiful fabrics and clothes and you get anything you want. But this, it's kind of embarrassing to be like, can we have like the cheapest, ugliest, low raggedy clothes you guys have? And they were like, absolutely not. We have better and prettier. Would you want to see that? And we we're like, um, no, we need this. Like for Bridgerton, yeah, we need we to need look. Yeah, we square neck silk nothing else and obviously now we look like really pretty little princesses but guys without the jewelry makeup and hair Please don't me and kavya we wore this and we were like we we're like in tears we yeah we were, were like no <laughs> this is so embarrassing i've never been humbled like dude we actually looked insane and like just it was a knee it's the length kneecaps the length the kneecaps <laughs> the hormonal acne just a whole vibe. I mean, it was like a mood though. But I think even with the ashy and the kneecap, we usually look good with just like a top and a pair of jeans. But this outfit like made us. <laughs> it's not giving. <laughs> it's We look like the ugly stepsisters from Cinderella. Like Anastasia actually. and who's the other one? I don't even remember their names. I just I do. A very big fan of Cinderella. Oh my God, let's watch it. What is it? No, we're watching Chandramukhi together. Oh yeah. I'm gonna like get really scared. That movie is terrifying. Yeah, this bitch is like actually gonna piss her pants. I'm like, I love Chandramukhi. It's I like, like a scary, scary movies, but movie. like I swear I've seen every scary movie like Conjuring, all that stuff. Chandramukhi scarier. It's a scary, like a horror Tamilian movie. It's actually so funny when you go back and you watch Dude. the like movies. They're so cool. Okay, I went to watch the like Ra Ra like music video the yeah. other day because you know I was like forgetting what the story was. And I was like, this is like so sad and so scary. So excited. Like, honestly, I'm so, like, she took me as a plus one. I was so like excited. Like, it I love like, you for that. Event. It was the best. Shut up. Me and Kavi were just like, who else? Like, jaw on the floor, you guys. We we're like looking at things and we we're like, it was such a so cool magical. Like, it, it did feel like magic. It was so cool. Yeah. That was definitely my favorite event I think that we've gone to in LA right? so far. Because like a lot of events are really nice and I feel like they pay attention to detail, but that one just felt special. Like- No, I agree. Like they were actually really nice. Sometimes you go to events and like, do you ever feel kind of- Not Exhausted, drained, Yeah, but it's dead. like you, I feel like we both are people who pick up on energy. Obviously, it won't be the same characters. Yeah. I might, I might, they might just do like a little cameo. Maybe. But I really wanted them to like be there. And people were like, they did not like the season one, and people love season two. I loved all you guys. I am such a princessy princess. The yeah. fact that Kavi randomly went like, do you know Beauty Barbie and the Beauty and the Princess and the Pauper? And I'm like, babe. Because we were gonna do pink and blue, yeah. So we could be like Princess and the Pauper. And you guys, I literally went like, babe, my my Facebook name, you guys, was Princess Popper. I can't with that. I did not know what popper meant, but I know there's a movie called Barbie and the in the Princess and the Popper or whatever. Barbie and the Princess and the Popper or something. So Such a good movie. if you didn't know, popper literally means maid, beggar, slave, whore on the street. And I'm like, my name is Princess Popper. So the boys in my school would be like, hi, like can I add you on Facebook? And I wouldn't have like my real name out there. So I would just be like, yeah, you can add me. It's Princess Popper. <laughs> <laughs> I needed English lessons from like 998. Like, what was I doing? So popper, the way they made the princess blonde and perfect, and yeah, the like popper. she had a white cat. That is so... And the popper had brown hair and a black cat. 
Not you ruining my favorite childhood movie in like four seconds. Uh, it's still a cinematic masterpiece. I forgot about like I, it didn't even hit me. But yeah, they made the blonde girl the princess and the ugly brunette one as a popper. Great. And then the princess falls in love with the poor guy, and the poor guy <laughs> or and the rich guy falls in love with the. Of popper. course, of course, I don't fall in love with the blonde one. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, this bitch be falling in love with the lamppost, the fire hydrant. I have to like keep her in check, but oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was a. Do you have like a skinny brow brush? But you guys would love this show if you haven't watched it it's on Netflix. Season one's cute. I love season one and two. I literally cannot pick. And I think the reason I love the show is because I can't pick one person I hate. You know what I mean? Yeah, like everybody is lovable. Everybody is lovable. And I'm like, someone's like, oh, who do, you, nice. who do you hate in Bridget? I'm like, what do you mean hate? What a strong word to use. I love everybody. It's like special. I feel like that doesn't happen on shows. Like, it's there's so always pretty. The corsets, you... the dressing, the yeah. dancing, the accent. Like it's so, it's like my vibe. Yes. So I'm obsessed. I'm very excited. Ew, Look at how like close you. the zoom goes. <laughs> we have to bend down. <laughs> but oh my god, not me having blended makeup for the first oh time. My god. It's honestly uh, after the Jack Hannah shoot, everyone like cooked me in the comments. And I'm but like, you, it actually looks so good. And so I'm blended. like, and we did a good job with dude, like, your makeup is natural. always good. You're like, oh, you're like an we're actual like princess. You look like the princess. No, from she she had me up too fucking hard today. She must have done something. <laughs> this bitch about to be like, yeah, I hit your car, by the way. Finally getting our Literally. little representation because summer girls are bad bitches. It's the first time. It's the first time. Yeah. I'm shocked. I love Shonda Rhimes. Shonda no. Rhimes. Is it Shonda Rhimes? Yeah. Shonda Land. So I just want to say shout out to Shonda Rhimes. We for love you. Like the representation. Miss Shonda, are Mindy Kaling. Mindy we Kaling, Netflix, Bridgerton, England. I love England now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Englandian. I love UK. You, you waving the UK flag all around town for I long. literally will. I rep UK. I love I love British people. Ireland. Yeah. I love Whistledown. Lady Whistledown. Yeah. I love the Gossip Queen. I am a Gossip Queen. Love Gossip Queen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you. We'll list every single makeup product down below so you can go check that out. Outfit is from Marshalls. <laughs> and so are the earrings. <laughs> the earrings and necklaces are from India. Yeah, she got it from me, so. Well, this is from Amazon. Oh, this is Amazon, <laughs> bitch. Now you're putting this me on Amazon. Vivian, you know, Vivian Westbrook. I love my thing. champagne glasses. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Let's do the little British accent. Can you do it? Do the British accent. You have to have your pinky up. Don't be a popper. <laughs> popper. Big popper. Cheers. I don't think they do this. How <laughs> my snot in the coffee? Okay, I'm gonna be talking about. I drink coffee fast. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> you do. But guys, we're having a little tea party. Oh my god. You're welcome to join. The number of times I'm so scared I'm gonna spill something here. Can move this? No, 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 do not. Move this. <laughs> oh, coffee. yeah, I forgot. Bridge, there's coffee in here. Wait, we'll push yeah, this that's here. Cute. But let me ask you some cute Bridgerton questions in a British accent. I can't be bothered. Get wow. out of here. Oh my god. I can only do British accent a little bit because of my best friend. She's stupid, annoying, and ugly, but <laughs> she also looks like Jafar a little bit. Does she? Lily is so pretty, bro. <laughs> the bitch looks like Jafar to me when I'm on high, on drugs. Remind me to never get too fucking close to you. You're gonna tell me I look like the parrot. <laughs> oh my god, I call her the parrot! I do, I swear to god! Bro, not your true. I literally call her the parrot, but we are literally not giving Bridgerton, okay? We are we have to be elegant and polite. Like what the fuck? okay, no shoulder I mean no elbows on the table. Posture, bitch, you be sitting like a fucking chameleon uh, lizard in the fucking event. Upright. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Chin up. Okay, let me stack some books on your head. We should end this in a very nice note in a British accent. Can you do a little British accent for me? I can. Go so on. Like my normal, <laughs> my normal accent. Go on, go on, love. What should we talk about? Um, I love the chai you prepared. Oh, thank you, love. It, it took a lot of effort for your big fat ass, but I'm here. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, I want, I do not know how to like end like English, like, I don't know, manners. I, how do you end things? Toodles. Toodles is not so are you. <gasps> Cheerio. It was very nice to it have. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to have you here, but I would like you to have a better dress next time you show up to the ball, you don't ugly bitch. You. <laughs> don't wear your parchment paper. <laughs> What's a parchment? This is this the give to me Guys, parchment paper. Guys, the quality of this dress is, you know the parchment papers you get when you make cakes? Like DIY paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's giving a uh, paper machete. Like <laughs> machete. Paper mache. <laughs> paper you mache. She's a paper machete. Machete is a bitch. <laughs>
Paper it machete. is paper machete because it's cutting our skin <laughs> off. Uh, we are very excited. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. Watch our show. Yeah, we are very happy to be here and have you guys for dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Love you.